So next part of discussion is about the application of peace space function. A local so charges admission to the group according to the following policy. Group of fewer than 50 people are charged a rate of 35 pesos per person. While group of 50 people or more are charged a reduced rate of 30 pesos per person. So the problem is, write the piecewise function that describes the amount a group will be charged for the admission as a function of its size. Okay? So based on this problem, we need to construct or illustrate a piecewise function that describes this problem. Okay? Write the piecewise function that describes the amount a group will be charged for the admission as a function of its size. So, first thing to do is to identify the crucial information in the problem. So, first one, groups of fewer than 50 people are charged a rate of 35 pesos per person. While the second one, groups of 50 people or more are charged a reduced rate of 30 pesos per person. So, let X be the number of person. Groups of fewer than 50 people. So, we have the interval x is greater than 0 but less than 50. Next, charge a rate of 35 pesos per person. So therefore, 35 x. So 35 is the number of person while x or 35 is the number of or the p that each person need to pay while x is the number of person. Next one, the sub function. So it will become f of x equals 35x, where x is greater than 0 but less than 50. Next one, group of 50 people or more. So we have the interval greater than or equal to 50. Charge a reduced rate of 30 pesos per person. So we have 30x. And the sub-function obtained is f of x equals 30x if x is greater than or equal to 50. So, combine the two sub-function, we'll be having the piecewise function f of x equals 35x if x is greater than 0 or less than 50 and 30x if x is greater than or equal to 50. So, second problem, how much will a group of 49 people can save in an admission if it can recruit one additional member? So, we have now the piecewise function that represents the problem. So, if there are 49 people, we will use the person function. Okay. So, f of x equals 35x, then substitute 49. It will become 35 times 49. So, f of 49 is equal to 1,715 pesos. If there are 50 people, we will use the second sub function. So, f of x equals 30x, then substitute 50. 30 times 50, 15 or 1,500 pesos. So, 100, so 1,715 minus 15 is equal to 215. So, if a group of 49 people recruit one additional member, they can save 215 pesos. So, next problem, a Sumbain structure charges according to the number of participants. If there are 15 participants and below, the instructor charges 500 pesos for each participant per month. If the number of participants is between 15 and 30, he charges 400 pesos for each participant per month. And lastly, if there are 30 participants or more, he charges 350 pesos for each participant per month. So we are asked to write the piecewise function that describe what the instructor, instructor charges. So, identify the crucial information. So, first one, let x be the number of participants per month. So, first in info we have, if there are 15 participants and below. So, therefore, 0 or x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 15. Okay? Next, instructor charges 500 pesos for each participant per month 500x next the sub function we obtain is f of x equals 500x where x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 15 next one number of participants is between 15 and 30 so therefore we have x is greater than 15 
but less than 30. Next, charges 400 for each participant per month. 400x. Okay? So, 400 is the P, while the X is the number of participants. So, the sub function we obtain, f of x equals 400x if x is greater than 15 or less than 30. And lastly, 30 participants or more. So, we have x is greater than or equal to 30. Charges 350 pesos for each participant per month. So, we have 350x. The sub function we obtain, f of x equals 350x where x is greater than or equal to 30. So, the piecewise function as a whole, combine the three sub functions. So, we have f of x equals 500x if x is greater than 0 or less than 15. 400x if x is greater than 15 or less than 30. And lastly, 350x if x is greater than 30. So the next problem, a user is charged 300 pesos monthly for a particular mobile plan which includes 1,000 free text messages. Messages in excess are charged 1 pesos each. Represent the monthly cost for text messaging using the function TM where M is the number of messages sent in a month. So we have TM is equal to, to the first one, a user is charged 300 pesos. So this is a fixed value for 1,000 text messages. So we will represent, so we will represent M as the number of text messages. So 300, if the text messages is greater than zero but less than or equal to 1,000. So if you text or consume text messages 1,000 or below you will be paying a standard or fixed value of 300 pesos next 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 case is when message in excess are charged by 1 peso so therefore you will be texting more than 1,000 times so it will become 300 the initial charge and M minus 1,000 since we need to charge 1 pesos for every excess text messages so the number of M expected is larger than 1,000 then subtract it by 1,000 so we can get the excess number of text messages so if M is greater than 1,000 so again if you got a text messages from 0 to 1,000 1,000 included so you will be paying 300 fixed price however if you exceed to 1,000 messages, so you need to pay 300 fixed price plus 1 times the excess number of text messages. So, M minus 700. So, the report TM is equal to 300 if M is greater than 0 or less than or equal to 1,000. M minus 700 if M is greater than 1,000.